Right now, there is a race going on in this entire internet, the entire tech world that we see around us. The race of JS, JavaScript. Everybody wants to take part in this marathon, race, relay, whatever you call that. And everybody trying their hands best on so that they can take participation in that. In case you are not aware of that, let me give you a few words so that you can remember that. Node.js, Electron.js, React, Angular, Vue, TensorFlow.js, and I can name probably lots of others as well, which probably nobody knows. But yes, the fact still remains. There is a race going on with this JS framework and library. That's a good thing for both of us, you and me. Right now, there is a new contender in the market who is also trying to take on in this race of JavaScript. The name of this new contender is Uber. Yes, you didn't even spot that there. But yes, Uber is trying their hands in the new JavaScript dominant world. And yes, I know a lot of you might be thinking, hey, Uber is a mobile company. I just tap on my phone and it gives me a ride just next to my door. Yes, exactly, Uber is that. But I think we should discuss about one little fact that in fact, you should understand this, that even if a company is just mobile oriented or totally a mobile app based, there are a lot of things that goes on in the back end of that particular company. You need to understand that yes, Uber is a mobile app company, but it's not just like they're just opening up their Android studio and just writing some code in that. There are a lot of things going on. Just to give you a simple bare minimum example of how the Uber might be functioning out is just remember the Uber pool thing. You just uh, get a ride and you're somebody else, some stranger also get a ride, you go, you both get into a car and just drops on. Now this is a typical problem in case you belong from computer science, this is a typical problem of traveling salesmen, but on steroid, that is real world example that is that Uber is trying to solve right now. So there is a lot of thing that goes on there and definitely now I hope you understand that Uber is also solving those problems and Uber also take care of variety of charts, graphs, uh, optimizing the cost and delivering the best services and these all cannot be possible and cannot be done just with an app. They definitely are doing some kind of web based framework, some back end stuff and a lot of internal things are going on at Uber. So one thing onto a complete sidebar. Yes, Uber does have its own of lot of internal tools that they are using to make our life easier. But what it has to do with Uber taking part in the race of this JS framework race? Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I feel about this Fusion JS. Now, I feel that Uber were using some kind of internal JS framework and it was getting so hard to manage that framework with a with a context of Redux, with a React navigation and tons of other things that they are already using in their internal tools. Now, one of the best way if you are struggling with any tool is to release it open source. Maybe it will get attraction, some people will take interest in it, will try to use that in their own project and will make some of the open source commits and changes again. Now you got a community who is supporting your project and voila, a lot of things is being done with the public service. So you have released a product initial phase. Now people are taking interest in that. In case you want to know more about it, take a look at the React an open source project by Facebook. Facebook has been using it for so long and the moment they released it to the public open source, the framework got really strong, really powerful, a lot of people taking interest in that. And don't you think that Facebook internally might be using those open source commits that are being made by public? Yes, of course they are. So I think what Uber tried to did is uh, to relieve some of their work, some of their work by simply releasing this Fusion JS in the market. But let me tell you what I think. So what does this fusion.js gives me a feeling? Now look at this screenshot. It looks like a copy of exact react and react native, uh, whatever you like to choose here. But the whole point is somebody just took the react and copied it line by line, removed the unnecessary things and supports the most important things like react navigation and Redux. Of course, Redux needs to be there. So this is what it looks like. And I can see that Uber failing in this framework. There is no one, absolutely almost no one who is bothering about it. No videos on YouTube, even no blog on the medium or anything at all. The reason being the reputation, the reputation of Uber, of course, they do create a lot of web application to use internally, but the reputation is of app. If they would have released something related to navigation or something like a mobile framework, it would, it would have nailed it. Right now, I can hear the cricket sound on their GitHub profile. Just, just look at this web page. It sounds so empty. Looks like nobody's bothering much about it. So yes, another JS framework, Fusion.js. And I personally think that I won't be, 
I won't be bothering much about looking at this framework as of now. And yes, this is just August 2018 and the framework was released at the very first of this month. And tech industry is always full of surprise. Maybe this might become the most amazing framework of JS. Might just, down, might just die like any other framework which we are not even aware of it. So regardless of that, as of now, I would say that, hey, you don't need to check out much about the fusion.js. There are plenty of other options that you can just hang around. So that's my personal views again. Uh, it might be amazing one, but I'm not gonna be bothered much about it into looking into it. And on to a very side note, I know uh, some of you are listening up here. Uh, recently in the past, I called out the sketch guys and there was a comment in the video that sketch guys are listening to me. That's really a big thing for me. Now, hey, Uber guys, if you are listening to me, let me give you an advice from a totally naive person. If you can release something related to mobile, that can surely nail down, whether that's an open source project or maybe something related to paid APIs or anything at all, it can nail down the market. But just releasing a web thing for your internal testing purposes, you're releasing that thing and you're expecting that people are going to contribute. I don't think so that the things works in the tech industry like, like that way. So that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this. In case you have enjoyed this video, make sure you share it so that other persons can get updated with the latest tech and the things that are happening in the tech domain, the programming domain. And you can also look forward for hitting that subscribe button. That's an amazing cool button. Just try to hit that. So that's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one.